When Olympic organizers asked Japan if there were any sports they'd like to add for the Tokyo Games, baseball was an immediate and obvious answer. It's the most played and watched game here, and it's back in the Olympics for the first time since 2008. Kids can watch the Olympics and then dream about becoming a pro player. Ten years on from these games, I think there will be more kids who want to compete in the Olympics. Major events like this are so important for boosting the number of children playing baseball. It's been difficult to keep playing because of the pandemic, but I'm very happy the Olympics went ahead. I can't go and watch the baseball, but at least I can see it on TV. An American teacher first introduced baseball to students in Tokyo in the late 19th century. Japan's own professional teams and leagues soon followed. A morning trip to the batting cage is a way of life for many in Japan. The country now produces some of the world's best pitchers and hitters, with many playing in North America's Major League Baseball competition. But the MLB has refused to release any players for these Olympics, including Japan's biggest star, Shohei Otani. Otani's absence is one of the reasons baseball won't be returning for the Paris Games in 2024. Olympic bosses want top players to make themselves available and more global participation. If that happens, the sport could be back for the 2028 Olympics in Los Angeles. In the 1990s, Keiko Suzuki became the first Japanese to play in the top US Women's League. She says it's the perfect sport for any boy or girl to take up. You need to throw, catch, bat, run. There's so many elements and so much you need to practice. It's a complex sport. It isn't as popular in Europe and not many teams are taking part in these Olympics, but I hope it will be back at the LA Games. If baseball does catch on in more countries, there's still a chance these young players will one day get their own shot at an Olympic medal. Andy Richardson, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.